Economists say that banning all Russian energy immediately would drag Germany's GDP down by $238 billion in the next two years and trigger 400,000 job losses. And Sophie Corbeau was the head of gas analysis at BP. She's now a global research scholar at Columbia University's Center on Global Energy Policy. She joins us live now uh, from Paris. Sophie, thank you so much for being with us. So given what's happened with Poland and Bulgaria, um, it's clear that the EU cannot depend on Russia anymore. How does the EU prepare itself for what likely could be more disruptions? I mean, the EU has already uh, prepared some plans uh, that we have seen in March. It's called the Repower EU, and they are looking at both the supply side and the demand side. So far, I have the impression that the governments are really focusing on the supply side, which is really trying to find other sources of natural gas, whether this is pipeline, whether this is domestic production coming from inside the EU, or whether this is, for example, coming from Norway. But essentially, they are also looking at LNG, liquefied natural gas coming from all over the world, including the United States, which is likely to be the largest source of incremental LNG in 2022. But what is really important to understand is that in order to attract more LNG uh, towards the European Union, you need two things to happen. Uh, first of all, you need to attract all the incremental LNG, but you need also to divert LNG away from over consumers and in particular from Asia. This is exactly what has happened in the first quarter because the prices in the European Union were very high and therefore attracting a lot of LNG towards Europe. But this is not enough. This is not enough. I mean, the thing is that we, we, the European Union, imported about 155 billion cubic meters of Russian gas in 2021. The global LNG market is just above 500 billion cubic meters. So you see, I mean, the kind of ratio that we are talking about. I mean, we would need to expand massively our LNG import capacity and our ability to import LNG. And that would cost a lot of money because the gas prices that we are seeing now are at about $30 per MMBTU. Usually European gas prices, six to $8 per MMBTU. So you can see already how high we are. Make absolutely no mistake. If we, we were facing an immediate disruption tomorrow, I mean, we would be facing already relatively low stocks, but the prices would go to very high levels. The maximum that we have seen so far was $70 per MMBTU. And this is when the Deputy Prime Minister Novak announced on the 7th of May that maybe they would cut uh, Russian gas supplies towards Nord Stream 1. So that's only 55 billion mm -hmm. cubic meters. So imagine where we could go. Right. And actually, just in what you said, you've only really focused on um, the supply side of it. I mean, obviously there are challenges, as you point out, in terms of replacing Russian gas, but that's only the supply side. Um, the EU also wants to curtail demand as well. That is another pillar of this. How do they do that? That's a very good question. And, you know, there is some sort of call towards people to reduce their thermostat. And I have to say, as a European citizen sitting here in France, I am actually quite surprised that there is no real sense of urgency which is conveyed to all the citizens. This is the worst crisis that we have seen in 50 years, since 73. This is the, the biggest crisis that I have seen in my lifetime. And I don't see enough coming from our government this absolute imperative that you need to save every kilowatt hour of electricity and natural gas now, and in particular telling that to all the citizens in the European Union, because right now the industry well, because this is for them a matter of life and death, they are trying to reduce their energy consumption. They are trying to become more inventive. But citizens are really protected. And I don't think they are conscious that this is really uh, going to be a big crisis if Russia is cutting gas next month, if they are not happy with the lack of payment in rubble. 